In this tutorial I'm going to show you a fairly effective way of using 2D artwork inside your Maya scene. These palm trees here are two-dimensional bitmap images that are placed onto a geometric plane. We need to acquire the images or create them and then export them in a particular way so that when we put them on the plane you won't see the actual bounding box of the image, you'll only see the image itself and that's what I'll be showing you how to do. Right, in my graphics application I'm using, which is called Fireworks, I'm going to open a bitmap image, which is a JPEG image, and this is going to be the image I'm going to prepare for use on our geometric plane. So with my image loading, I'll use the magic wand tool and select the background. Now I need to get as close to the image with my selection as I can without encroaching on it. And to help me do that, I've got a tolerance setting here. So if I bring this down to zero, we can see the tolerance is very wide. And if I bring it up to about 200 or so, then the, the selection area is actually encroaching on the image. So we want something a bit in between, probably about, let's try 160. No, yeah, that's not too bad. So I'm selecting my area around the image of the palm tree. Now what I need to do is select the inverse. So now I'm selecting the palm tree itself and then edit copy and then file new, new document and have a transparent background canvas color. And then I edit paste my selection onto my new transparent background document. And then finally, what I need to do now, which is important, is to, you choosing image preview, I need to make sure I select ping, that's portable network graphic, 32-bit depth ping format. Because if I don't, if I select, for instance, 24, then I've got a white background. So I need to retain the transparency, which I do if I choose ping 32. And then export this out to my ping file. I've already got one there, so I'm going to call it palm tree dot ping export. And then in Maya, if I create a new Maya scene, and the first thing I will need to do is to create a we could use NURBS or polygons for this purpose, NURBS is best, so I'm going to create a NURBS plane. Also, it's good to switch off unchecked interactive creation, makes things easier create a NURBS plane which is created at the origin there and what I need to do now is rotate that plane so it stands up and I'm going to rotate it through 90 degrees zoom back a bit then I need to apply material to it and I'm going to assign a new material and it's important to use a Lambert surface because it's matte so it won't give any reflective properties when I place the image on the plane, it, the, the image will look as it is without any of the background reflecting. And then after I've placed my image, I go and click the color box and then go and select my image that I placed into the source images folder. So file, image, palm tree ping. And there it is, open that one. And then to see the image placed on the plane, I need to just press 6, and there we are. And I can just transform that up to the model plane grid. Zoom back a bit. And there we have a graphic image placed on an image plane that can be used inside your Maya scene. And of course, once we've got one, we can select the plane, edit, duplicate, and gently pull the transform away and there we are, we've duplicated the palm tree. We've been able to take an image by manipulating it and editing it in a graphics application, selecting the background and then selecting the inverse and copying it into a new document with a transparent background and by exporting out to a ping 32-bit depth image, 
we're able to then import it into our Maya scene, making sure that we use the material, the Lambert surface material, before we apply the image onto our geometric plane. So that concludes this tutorial on using 2D imagery inside a Maya scene. Thanks for watching.